D-Man here. Just telling you, I hope you like this video. So let's get in to the video. <laughs> hey guys, D-Man here. Today I'm going to review The Thing 1982. Um, but before I get into this review, I want to say something first. Uh, if you noticed, one of my... Um, Episode reviews, the fifth one, the fifth episode is before the fourth episode. And the reasoning for that is because YouTube decided to public size, like public size it when I put it on private because I put it on private to like put the tags on there, uh, to double check it just to see if it's all good before I publish it, before I, uh, publish, pub, pub, publish it. I, I guess that's the word for it, right? Publish it. So before I publish it, I put like the tags on there and stuff. I double check it on YouTube just before I put it out to the public, obviously. But I put private and then YouTube's like, oh, I think you mean public. And I was just like, well, fuck you, YouTube. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons that that episode is before the other episode. And it's stupid because YouTube. Stupid glitch. <laughs> uh, and it was, I, I, uh, I uploaded it from my phone. So, and it was private. I, I double checked. Like, I double check every time before I release something. Like, if it's private, and it says private. So I was just like, it's private, but it's public for some fucking reason. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say that before I got into the reveal. But anyways, let's get into the review. The Thing 1982 version, not the remake. <laughs> so, I just got finished watching watching the, the Thing 1982 version. <laughs> so, basically, I have watched this before, uh, probably about like, 17, 18 years ago now. Uh, I rewatched it to review it because someone requested I reviewed it. So I, I, I did the request. <laughs> um, so I watched this about like 17, 18 years ago when I was a lot younger. So I don't remember everything that happened, but now I do obviously because I just watched it again. <laughs> but basically, it's a show about like an alien. Uh, an alien parasite, kind of. It, like, takes... It goes into you. It slowly takes over your body and makes, like, an exact copy of you. Or an exact copy of whatever whatever animal it goes into, I guess. So, basically, it starts off uh, fairly interesting with some crazy guy chasing a dog down, <laughs> trying to kill it, shooting people that get in his way, uh, blowing up his friend <laughs> and trying to kill this one dog. And at that point, you can tell that the dog probably has the parasite in it. Now, I'm not going to say uh, it's predictable on that count because I have watched this before, so I did remember that part. So that is a little bit predictable for me. I don't know if it would be predictable for anybody else who hasn't watched it, obviously. Uh... But I assume it might be. It's a little bit iffy there. So basically, this dog sticks around. It has the parasite in it. No one knows it has a parasite in it until they put it in the dog kennel with the other dogs. Uh, and then it infects the other... Well, it doesn't infect the other dogs. It turns into like this mutated fucking dog thing. Uh, what this virus does to animals and people, I would assume... It turns them into these mutated things that attack other things. Um, so, it turns into this mutated dog that tries to infect the other dogs, which it which it, like it does. At least, like I think there's like three of them that it got, and two got away, or maybe yeah, I think so, yeah. So it attacks these other dogs. It gets three of them, but they kill them all. <laughs> And then the mutant dog thing gets away into the rafters. And for, like, the majority of the movie, 
<laughs> no one really mentions it, uh, but it does come into play later on. <laughs> so basically, what happens is the doctor finds out that it's like this parasite that slowly takes you over and will completely like erase your DNA and make you him at like an exact duplicate. And it can attack you at any moment and stuff like that. And its main survival, it's like, its main instincts are survival. <laughs> and it just wants to survive. So, what we get is a bunch of people not trusting each other. Obviously, uh, a bunch of other stuff happening. <laughs> um, so, these people don't trust each other. They have a flamethrower because that's pretty much the only way you can kill it is by flame throwing it or by burning it alive or burning it dead <laughs> so you gotta burn it completely to kill it um and then the doctor guy this guy right here if you can see the mouse I think you can but this guy right here he goes crazy and then he goes crazy starts breaking shit starts ripping shit out of the plane and later on, we realize that he's one of them. Well, he's like a copy of one of them. And he's making an alien spaceship, which is weird. <laughs> uh, and he's trying to get away. But then they go after him. They blow it up. And they basically say, like, let's do a suicide mission. At that point, they're like, okay, we're not going to get out of here alive, so let's just do a suicide mission. Let's kill this fucking thing before it gets out. So they do a suicide mission. They go to blow up the base. The mutant dog thing comes back. Uh, kind of thought it would, obviously. It comes back even bigger, and it has like a giant, like giant tentacles. <laughs> so it comes back, and pretty much... Like fights the main care the main ter character, uh, and then it gets blown up along with the whole facility, and then there's only two people left, which are which is the white guy and the black guy, <laughs> and then they kind of just end the movie where they're just sitting there. And let, they're like, let's sit here and wait and see what happens, and they're like, yeah, sure. So they sit there and they wait, and it's kind of left ambiguous if um. If one of them is like the monster, if the monster is completely erased, you know, it's kind of just left like, is it completely erased? Is it still there? Is one of these guys the monster? Uh, it's just kind of left like, who really knows at this point? It could be, couldn't be, but either way, they're going to freeze to death and just be frozen there. But in my personal opinion... I think that they should have blown them, like, blew each other up. Because they know if they just freeze, the monster will go and infect other people. So at that point, I would have been like, how about we just blow, how about we just, like, let a grenade, sit down, and blow each other up. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just to save humanity, I guess. I guess it, it might not kill humanity. It might just kill a large portion, but, you know, whatever. To save people. I'd be like, all right, so we're the last two left. Let's just blow each other up or blow up together. <laughs> Let's light one of these things and blow up. Uh, but then again, you never know. The doctor guy could still be out there. So it's kind of left ambiguous to, to what's going to happen next. And then it ends and the credits roll, obviously. Uh, so, pretty good movie, all in all. Uh, I gotta say something. The, like, special effects and stuff, a lot better than some of the stuff they use nowadays. And it has withstood the test of time. I mean, fairly good. It has withstood fairly good. Uh, a lot of the effects, as I said, are better than some of the effects they use nowadays. Uh, what would I give it out of uh, 1 to 10? 1 being the worst, 5 being just normal, and 10 being the best. I'd probably give it about an 8. It's, st it, it's still good, even though it's pretty old. Um, the, uh, the special effects are pretty awesome. 
better than half the shit they have nowadays, to be honest. Uh, it has a good plot line. Its ending's ambiguous and just kind of like just leaves you hanging there. Uh, but all in all, it's pretty damn good still, I gotta say. It's pretty goddamn good. Um, it wasn't really that scary. Uh, I don't really get scared of movies, though, as I've said before in uh, one of my reviews. Uh, but that's not to say I don't appreciate a good a good scary movie, and this is one of those good scary movies. So if you were to get, you could get scared. I could, I, I should say, if you haven't watched this before, uh, it probably could scare you. <laughs> uh, it depends on the person, I guess. But yeah, it's a good movie. It's an eight out of ten for me. Uh, it's a good movie. It holds up. <laughs> I would definitely watch it again. But, uh, yeah, that's my review. I hope you liked it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, my friends, stay sane. Peace. Hey, guys. D-Man here. Uh, this is just a reminder, a friendly reminder, I should say, to like, share, and comment on this video and also subscribe to my channel by pressing the button I'm pointing at if you're on PC if you're not on PC well you see those things down there you'll see those on your tablet or phone uh, and you click on the subscribe button to subscribe and the other one to go to my channel yes it is very amazing, yes, very easy, very amazing. So don't forget to subscribe, guys. Yes. Uh, don't take my word for it. Take my sexy kitty friend here. <laughs> Let's see what she has to say, shall we? All right, put my head back on. Boop. All right. Beep. Hey, guys. I'm a real girl that watches this channel not just the same guy really I'm not uh, y you know it's not like he, he took us from Google Images or something like that and then put us on this crappy paint thing because he's too cheap to get an actual image editor <laughs> uh, t press this button over here that he's pointing to if you're on PC to subscribe and if you're not on PC, uh, you'll find those things by the subscription and the, and the title and stuff. You know, you, you've been watching YouTube for a bit, so find them, yeah. And subscribe, yes. Alright, bye-bye, uh, peace out, and remember my friends, stay sane. Hee 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 Hey, that was my line. Stay sane is my line, you woman. Okay, whatever. Stay sane. Uh, stay safe. Subscribe. Press that button or go to the description and press those things. Yes, subscribe.